the best way to run Dianabo. Um, so in this video I'm going to go over my views and the experience with Dianabo and the, in my opinion the best way to run it. So I personally think that Dianabo is best utilized while in a dieting phase. So when you're in a caloric deficit. Now the traditional way of people doing it is say they'll stack it with you know test and deca and they'll go bulking with it. Uh, the problem with that is you know you can get pretty unhealthy because of the all the water weight that you're going to put on, which I, I don't think is healthy. Um, and the fact that you know you're just going to not you're not going to look good and you're not going to feel good as well because of all that water weight that, that you put on, you're going to feel like shit. Um, now. It's not to say that's the only way, but I personally like to incorporate Dianabol into the beginning of my cutting phases. So there are a couple of reasons that I want to uh, use Dianabol in my cutting cycle, and I will break them down for you now. So let's say the first reason um, would be the uh, fullness that you're going to get from a, from a, uh, from a, um, a Dianabol. Let's say when you when you start dieting, when you drop your calories. You're gonna flatten out. It's you know it's inevitable. You're gonna start flattening out, uh, or you're not gonna be as full. Now, adding something like Dianabol can really help with that because Dianabol, um, you know, does hold water, does retain water. You know, that's one of the notorious side effects. That side effects you can call it that. In that way, I, I actually see that as a positive. Now you're gonna say, well, yeah, but you're not gonna see your definition that way. Uh, you're not gonna see the results of dieting. Look, in a 12 to 16 week diet, uh, where you're starting at say 15, 14% body fat, you're not gonna see that much definition anyway. And plus, if your end goal is to be as shredded as possible at say week 16, does it really matter what you look like at week 12 or week 14? I don't think so, it doesn't matter. What it will do is it will improve your performance, it will help you perform better, you know, your, your pumps are gonna be better, you're gonna feel fuller, um, and you know all the positive effects that come with the uh, water retention. Guys, water retention is not a bad thing in the beginning phases of a diet. If you're dieting for a show, your goal is to be as shredded, as dry, and as lean as possible on that day. What you look like 12 weeks out does not matter. Now, on to the, the second point. Dianabol will suppress your appetite, or at least it does to me. Um, all of oral, every single oral does that, that has, has that effect anyway. Um, I think it's something to do with my stomach, but you know, I get, you know, I, I, I really can't really um, take a lot of it uh, because it does mess mess with my stomach, and I can't eat on it. I lose my appetite, which in a dieting phase, well, guess what? That's a good thing because you don't want to eat. Um, you know, so not being able to eat is a huge positive in a downable cycle. Now, if it works the opposite for you and you actually get hungry, which I haven't heard that many people say that, but if it does do that, then obviously what can you do? It is what it is, you're gonna have to suck it up. Um, most steroids uh, are gonna make you hungry anyway, especially the injectables. You know, if you're taking equipoise, that shit makes you hungry than a motherfucker, you know, you have to, it's one of those things. Now the third point would be the fact that, you know, it will keep you strong, partly because of the fullness that you, the, the water retention that you're still holding, um, because, you know, people say, well, I lost uh, 20 pounds in three weeks on my diet, but that's because you lost all the water weight, but would you want to lose all the weight, what weight? When I start dieting, I'd rather be heavier at the start, I want to keep hold of that water weight so that I can be stronger and have my workouts be productive. Uh, because if you can lift heavy at the gym, you know, in the cutting phase, guess what, you're gonna keep majority of your muscle. You're still gonna lose some muscle, that's inevitable, uh, but it won't be as dramatic. So that's always, always a plus, the fact that you, you can keep your performance, you can lift heavier. Also, Dianabol is one of those things that like a, it's like a good, like a feel-good drug, if you, if you know what I mean. Like, it gives you that, unlike, for example, Anadrol, which makes you very lethargic, I noticed the exact opposite uh, with Dianabol. It makes me feel very, very good, which, you know, it, it's a good thing. Like, you appreciate that in a dieting phase. Like I say, it's not, you're not going to chuck that in at the end of a diet, you're not going to chuck it in four weeks out and into the show, running with, run with Diana Bowl. But you can always chuck it in at the start of a cut, 
and it would actually be a great help. Now, it's not to say you can't bulk with it, but what I would say is, it's, I personally think that, you know, you're gonna retain so much water and you start looking like shit uh, on it. And yes, you get strong, um, but I think that, you know, if, if you're, it's, mo it's mostly just the food that you gain, um, and there are better drugs to get strong than the animal. Um, anyway, so, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts, so, you know, I, I don't want to drag it out for too long, but basically, like I said, I think that Dianabol, um, a lot of the side effects that people actually, um, you know, assume they're side effects, to me, they're actually positives, or, or can be perceived as positives, if you choose to, because, like I said, water retention is not bad if you're 12 weeks out, so, that's really about it, guys, um, let me know, have a discussion in the comments down below. It doesn't mean, you know, when I say, oh, Diana Ball, you, 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 people jump out and be like, oh, what do you know about, you know, Diana Ball this and that? What makes you think, think you're an expert? Guys, I'm not an expert. I am exactly the same as you. Um, all I do is I record videos on my phone and put them on YouTube. <laughs> That's literally all it is. I'm exactly the same guy. Like when someone says, oh bro, I'm a, I'm a fan of your channel. No, 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 don't say you're a fan. Say you, you enjoy the videos that I make or, or you're a supporter, but don't say you're a fan. I'm not a rock star for you to be a fan. Um, so yeah, like I said, all the, the, the difference between me and you is that we both, so we both take gear, we both train, we both eat. You know, what we do is we live the bodybuilding lifestyle. What I do is I record the videos and document that on YouTube. Alright, so until next time, I'm going to leave you out with that. Have a think and then, you know, let me know if you've got any further questions.